Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be sharing with you a really cool DIY for this mirror and also showing you some house updates as long with the entry makeover. And so I hope you all enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and let's get started. So for the DIY, I am starting by taking the measurements of how much I actually need to make. I had about 100 inches or so and I'm going to be using this air hardening clay along with these two molds that I got off of Amazon and I just want to say thank you to all of you because I had no idea that these IOD molds existed until all of you commented in my previous decorating video about them so thank you so much. This stuff is really easy to work with all you do is kind of roll it out and then kind of form it into like a long tube to fit into your mold and you can obviously do this however many ways that you want it's pretty simple you can just push it in if you want to but um, it's really easy to work with and it takes a long time to harden so it's really flexible and so I just pushed that in and I took like an old like a gift card and then just pressed that in and pulled it down pressing it into the mold and that gives a nice clean edge and if there's a little bit extra it's really easy to just flakes off near the end and you can cut it off but I wanted to do these beaded pattern for the trim around the mirror and you can see me here um, adding it on and it's wet right now which I found out you could actually glue it on wet I actually let mine dry first and you'll see why because I ended up doing lots of things to this mirror so I picked up the mirror from the thrift store for $25 a few weeks ago and I knew I wanted to just give it a facelift and make it new again so um, I'm adding the trim on here just to see how much I need and to give it its natural curve and then I originally bought this mold for the little bead uh, shapes that you just saw but it wasn't thick enough for the edging that was on my mirror so I did this one which actually is really pretty and I thought well this would be a really pretty design to put all the way down the mirror so I decided to incorporate that design with the bead kind of inner um, twining it uh, and weaving it whatever you want to call it and um, I liked it and then once I got it all completely put together I realized I hated it so um, by that time most of the clay was dry by the time I realized I didn't like it so it's okay the pack I got from Amazon came in a three pack which was good because I used all of it especially even after making my mistake but it's not really a mistake as part of doing DIYs and I think that's the fun part of doing it you can see what works for the other mold everything stuck to it so I actually had to put cornstarch in it that way the uh, clay would not stick and that is something that the ladies that make these molds uh, mention that you can do to help prevent that and it's completely normal. So I will actually leave their YouTube channel linked down below because it's very interesting all the different things that you can make with these and I think you guys will really enjoy that. Now this mold I bought and I planned on using all of the different styles in this one. I just think they're so pretty. I love the flowers on it with all the swirls. Very, very pretty. And I was laying this out again to see if I liked it and I did not. So I realized that I could take the back off of this mirror to see if I could trim it because I didn't know how much of the mirror covered it. So I just laid it flat and then took my crowbar and pried it all off, leaving all the staples in it. And the mirror, to my surprise, after popping it out, did not go up all the way, which was a good thing. That means I had some flexibility on what I could do with it. So I just got my pliers and pulled out all of these horrible nails that were in it, or staples. And then I took it over to my neighbor's house because he has a table saw and he trimmed it down for me, which I'm so happy about. We removed the dowels and we took off about a good inch and a half of each side. And then we also squared off the bottom a bit too. So looking at this now, I am going to take it outside and trim it down even more because it needs some different curve. I just don't like the way it's going. And so I just um, drew out a design on the back of it. And then I'm using my jigsaw here following my template line here. needed to take off more and so I needed to give a little bit more curve to it which ends up looking really good 
So by the next morning, all of my molds that I didn't press down on curled and I was freaking out because I'd used up pretty much all of my clay. So all I did was put the uh, clay into some hot water, let it soak for like five minutes, and then I was able to straighten them out and flatten them. I didn't um, do this to the bigger molds, just to the skinny ones. So after I got those pretty much out, all laid out and um, straight, I put it back onto my countertop and then put a book on them. That way they could dry and stay flat. Now I'm gonna take my sander and just sand out the rest of the um, mirror here and you can see how much I have taken off. I've given it some nice curve. I'm going to be using some wood filler in these pockets here because that is just dated and I don't like it. So I filled that in and I let that dry and then I'm going to take my sander and sand that down for a nice smooth finish. Now for the fun part, I'm just using liquid nails to attach the clay molds to the wood frame. And you can use whatever product you want. This is just what I had on hand and I made use of it and it's pretty multi-purpose. So I'm just putting the trim beads down the side the way I wanted to and I worked out really well. How much we trimmed off, they fit perfectly on there and I just could not be happier. It is definitely starting to look like the design I liked off of Ballard Designs. The mirror on there was $400 plus and so I wanted to try to replicate that as much as I could and that is why I bought these molds to do that. And this is the look that it has now. I'm gonna go in with some flat enamel spray paint. And I actually went in with the black first and give it a good coating. Make sure you go at different angles because you wanna make sure you get all those little nooks and crannies in there. And then I thought, what would it look like if I highlighted it with a little bit of silver? So I took my metallic spray paint and just kind of dusted it but I didn't like it. So the nice thing about spray paint is it dries really fast and I went back over it with actually a satin black and it turned out really good. So now I gotta put the mirror back in and I had to also trim the backing that it came with because we trimmed off so much of the edges and I'm just gonna use my staple gun and put staples in holding it all together and I did that all the way around and it is looking so good you guys like it's just I'm really really happy with the way it's come out compared to what it looked like from the beginning and then my inspiration picture here for what I wanted it to look like and this is the way it came out and it's a little hard to see on camera but I am very pleased with it I like all the details to it I actually let the mold stick off of the wood a little bit for a little bit more added detail but I, overall I am so happy with the way it turned out and it was a really fun DIY project I learned a lot and got to use some new things thanks to you guys for sharing that with me so now it's time to style up the entryway. If you guys saw my last shop and decorate with me, then you would have seen the table and then the vase and then the florals and I added the ones I got from at home in there. I like the right side. The left side is the part that I'm not in love with. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> figure out what I want here. Um, I ended up changing out the vase to see if I like the silver vase better. Both look good but it's the left side that I just don't like. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know because I am not happy with any of these ideas, really. Um, this one, I just decided to put a whole bunch of different things together. Don't like it. I want simplicity. I don't want too much clutter on the table, but I also want it to be kind of neutral and more warm and welcoming. So. I had this idea in my head of how I wanted to look with the mirror in mind and everything and it's just not coming together the way I envisioned it would. And I wanted to show this to you guys because it's not always that simple for me to just decorate a spot in my house. Like I usually show you guys the finished look and everything but I try lots of different things on and see what works and stuff and I usually don't show all that so I wanted to show that in this video because um, I want you to know that if it takes you some time and you feel like I just can't get anywhere, it's okay. Like we all have that. All stylists try different things on and see what works and what doesn't work. It's part of the fun of decorating, but it definitely is a challenge at the same time. So this look actually I'm kind of happy with. 
Um, it's a little bit different than I was originally going for, like I said, but I think it's the best look out of all of them. You can let me know. So I'm going to take you guys in the living room now. And if you follow me on Instagram, I shared with you these Costco chairs that I got. And I absolutely love them. And this is the way they're looking here. I actually scored this end table here at TJ Maxx on clearance for $48. And I originally wanted something with storage in here, but I like the clean lines and less clutter. I want to be very minimal in my house, but warm and welcoming with lots of neutrals. And so I had this um, pitcher on here with the eucalyptus in it. It's fine, but I don't feel like it's large enough. So I thought, why don't I try putting the arrangement that I had originally for the entryway in here? And I think it works really well. The gold is definitely a little bit brighter in this area of the house, but I like the little pop of color that it adds. I like the pink in there. I could switch out these pillows if I wanted to, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I picked up these from Home Goods. It's a set of two. They are slip covered. Hallelujah. Yay. And there were $25 for the set of them. And I love the gray. I originally was thinking of putting those on the chairs, but they're too big. So the next best thing is to put them on the couch. And I just need to keep the ch the pillows on these chairs smaller. So the pillows, I actually found these on Amazon. They came in a two pack, I think, and they have tons of different colors. I really like these. They're kind of like a soft velvet or suede, whatever you want to call this material, more of a velvet. And I like the tassels, but it's too dark, I think, for the room. It doesn't give it anything. So I think I'm going to add the other pillows here and see how those look and they're a nice light gray and i like that i did have the bingham check ones there from ikea but this just looks a little bit more formal and i kind of like that so here's an overview of how the living room is looking yes that box is still there it has all of our dvds in it i'm not sure what i'm going to do with all of them yet i do need to add a couple things in the corner here but overall i'm liking the way it's coming together i might change out the pillow to the left too but it's coming around slowly so now moving on to the dining room, I haven't showed it much just because I don't like the way it's looking. I still haven't found the chairs that I want, but the table is going. I It's actually gone. It sold it. And I have a new set ordered. So you guys will be seeing that next week. So make sure you're subscribed and you have the notification bell hit because I'm going to be decorating this space and I cannot wait to just transform it and give it a whole new look. And I just hope that you guys are enjoying coming along with me for this decorating of the, the house and everything. It's been fun showing you guys everything. So hopefully you enjoyed the mirror DIY. I really like the way it turned out, even though it's not looking the way I wanted it to, to in the space. It was still a really fun project. So let me know if you end up making any of these or getting any of the molds. Let me know what you think of the entryway. I might just change it up completely. We will see. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.